Hey guys, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday. It's Tuesday, August 3rd, 2010. This is Jennifer. Today I'm coming to you from my boudoir because it is one of the only cool places in my house. Um, if you've been following me on Twitter or Facebook, you probably already know that my air conditioning has been out for 15 days now. Um, and I have made multiple calls to Sears. Uh, it's not been a pretty thing. Hopefully it'll be fixed on before Thursday of this week cross your fingers. Otherwise, watch my Twitter because I'll probably keep talking about it. So on to nicer things. Um, I've been doing a lot of sewing despite the heat and I think I've probably lost a couple of extra pounds because of it. Um, but anyway, so I've been doing a lot of sewing getting ready for my fall classes and um, one of the things I'm doing this year that I'm really excited about and I've talked about before is September, October, November I'm doing sort of themed classes. So September is the Mariner's Compass. Um, floating mariner block that I showed you guys last like two weeks ago um, and then um, today I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for my November class I haven't finished my October class because my mojo got a little weird on that and I felt like what I was working on what wasn't quite appropriate for a three hour class and it would have been more of an all day project so I'm revamping that one to be a smaller simpler project so in the meantime, I want to show you um, what's going, what is going to be in store for my um, November class. So in November, we're going to do um, this project, which you can see it's not finished, um, but this is an original design. It's one of my patterns. Um, by the end of this week, this will be available on So Hooked. You can buy it from my store as an instant uh, PDF download, safe PayPal payment, and all that good stuff. Um, and before the class starts, this will be available for sale at Honeybee. So, um, this is, like I said, an original design. I'm still working on my name. I think I'm going to call it Christmas Cheer or maybe um, Tree Trimmings or something cute like that. I like short names that are indicative of whatever it is um, I've designed. I went with a scrappy, old-fashioned look. I really like it. If you see a little reflection going on, it's because I'm going to put buttons on here. And what I did was... I'm going to sew these on today and so I went ahead and I just stuck a piece of scotch tape on there to hold them in place so that I know exactly where I want those buttons to be placed and I wouldn't do that if I was going to leave this more than a day because I'd be worried about residue from the tape but since I'm going to sew those on today I'm not really that worried about it so um, that's just a little tape like I said holding those in place and then I will um, hand stitch the back of my binding on later today and this also will have a pocket um, so that it can be held up by a little rod or something like that. So that's the one big project I've been working on. Um, so if you've heard me talking about Christmas in July, this is what I've been working on. Last week, a friend of mine asked me to design a couple of paper piece patterns for um, local quilters at a local quilt guild to use for Linus blocks. And what she's working on are kites. So um, this is what I came up with. I did a four patch kite. And then I did a really simple two color kite. Um, these are both available for free on So Hooked. I posted them on the So Hooked blog last week. So if you just go to blog.sohooked.org, you'll see it two or three posts back. And there are links to both of these patterns plus the reverse of this pattern. I know it's a really simple thing to reverse a pattern, but I like to do it myself if it's something that you might want in reverse just because it makes it easier for you guys. Um, and also this one is is really easy because since this is just two pieces you could actually just use one piece of fabric on that and make a kite really fast these are six by eight so all you have to do is add sashing to make them um, a 10 inch block a 12 inch block whatever so i think this will be really fun especially if like one person suggested that you add a little tail and maybe a little bow or something like that with stitching or embroidery or you know applique whatever I've picked up my um, carpool crochet project from last May. It was the very last one I started when I carpool. I sit in the carpool line, usually with my car off and my windows down, and I crochet. And um, I started in May, and I didn't finish it before the school year was out. And so I finally picked it back up and have been finishing it up. My tastes have been changing in yarn, so I've been stash busting. and. I haven't bought any yarn in 2010, so this has been kind of a fun project to put together. It's literally just a little bit of everything that I had that was either black or dark gray or jewel tones, and it's coming together really nicely, so I want to show you that now. It's almost done. 
um, I think I'm on my last skein of yarn that I have that's going to go with this blanket and then it'll be all finished and I'll turn it into Linus. So this, this is my carpool. Oh, my little things bounce around. This is my carpool crochet um, project. It, it's actually a rectangle, which you can probably see if you look at the center. It's harder to tell. Yeah, you can see. And it's literally um, just leftovers of other projects. And right now I'm working on a gray. I've got this cool gray ombre that I'm adding to the, I guess it's more of a variegated, but um, that I'm adding to the outside. And it is almost done. This was a, a clearance skein that I bought at Hobby Lobby. Of, I love this yarn. And when this skein is done, this blanket will be finished. And I'm hoping it'll be big enough for a lap blanket. It's I've probably got enough for about four more rows. So I'm looking forward to seeing that done. I might go ahead and put a black row on it at the end. And yes, I did just pick up my crochet hook with my toes. <laughs> I'm so used to doing that. I didn't even think about it. Um, very last thing is for Lacey L. So Lacey, if you're watching, I hope you enjoy this. Shay, if she doesn't watch, would you tell her to watch? Because I think she would appreciate this. Um, I think this is the last quilt top that I got for um, Log Cabins for Linus. And it was Lacey's. It went to a professional quilter who does some volunteer work for Linus. And she had a bit, bit of a backlog, so it took her a while to get to it, but she did finish it. I'm going to put the binding on it. It hasn't been trimmed or anything, but it has been quilted. So I really wanted to show you guys what this looks like. So this is Lacey's quilt. Turn it the other way. And you probably can't see the quilting all that great, but let me see if I can show you from here, the quilting, it's butterflies or angel wings or something like that. And it's just, the quilting is so pretty. And let's see if I can show you on this side. There you go, now you can see it. And so what I will do is I'll trim this up and I'll add a binding. So um, Lacey, if you have a request for what color binding you want, let me know. Otherwise, I will probably pick up either the pink or the green because I really like those and I think it would pull those colors right out to the edge. And believe it or not, Long Winded Me is done. Um, that's going to be it for me this week. Um, it's hot. It's August. School's starting for a lot of people. School's starting soon for us. You guys stay cool, drink lots of water, enjoy the rest of your summer, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye!